Silver angel at the top of each capital. That angel is, uh, is a replica of the angel that's at the bottom of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Look back. That's the choir loft. And even though it looks beautiful, and it is, and it looks very large, there is a huge African mahogany organ that's being made. It's going to be a pipe organ, three manual, so your person that plays is going to have a beautiful instrument to do this. Um, from here you get a great view um, of the stained glass windows and the transept. So on this part of the transept you have Mary holding Jesus at the beginning of his life and if you look up here on the other side you have Mary holding Jesus at the end of his life. He has chosen the litany of Loreto to, to wind its way through, and as you can see, he has the Hail Mary that winds its way around the, uh, the sanctuary. If you look straight up, you have the stars, and the stars in the dome here have been done to replicate this constellation that Juan Diego would have seen had he looked up into the sky that night. The wonderful thing with astrology is these days, if you give them the date, the time, and the year, and they can reconstruct where the stars were, and so that's really great. There are going to be four uh, pendentists, doctors of the church, and those are also being done in oil, and they'll be brought in. This ramp they've just put in in the last two days, this ramp is needed because they're going to be bringing in the Baldacchino columns from Italy that start up at this point and then they go straight up and then there's a huge Baldacchino that, that, that's done in plaster and that'll be painted ornamentally and they have four big old winged angels on each side just like Italy. And then there'll be a huge Our Lady Guadalupe that's already, it's a mosaic that's already completed and in storage here. That was done by the Vatican Mosaic Studio in Rome. And they're now fabricating a huge uh, frame that will have roses and all that rose motif there. And so that will be in place. Here, when you look high up, you see there are two chains hanging down. We just got word and pictures that uh, a hand-carved crucifix from Italy is now finished and they're just it's a matter of crating it up and, and sending it over on a plane and so that should be here fairly quickly too. This is the priest sacristy. This is all done in African mahogany and it's African mahogany in its natural state. So they tell me, and it really has a, a pretty honey luster and a but they tell me that over a hundred years or so it should start to turn dark, like the old world churches in Europe. We're having an icon done of St. John Vianney, curé of ours. That's being done by um, the Institute of St. Joseph in Tilden, Wisconsin. They are, uh, there's one sister, one priest, and one brother, and they just do beautiful icons. Um, this is the bishop's vestry. So in here, the, the bishops, archbishops, cardinals, and maybe someday a pope will, will vest in here. This is going to have St. John Neumann, um, first Catholic bishop, canonized. So that's, good. that's also an icon being done by Father Paul Schwanka, whose icons are over in the North American College. So he's quite talented, and he's local, and he loves Archbishop Burke. Amen.
I can't take you around all 14, but I wanted to show you at least one. And they're all built the same. They're all in the half moon. The local architect who's doing the, the church and, and all of the buildings constructed the outside. This is what's done by Anthony Visco out of Philadelphia. And he has done these. And if you go, you can put your finger in, in between places. And if you keep going, there are others that are even more exquisite because he's captured the, the expressions on the faces in such a beautiful way that we've had so many people say they've never been moved except uh, by their praying up here. This is the votive candle chapel. As soon as dedication comes, I think there will be no room on the rack. But these candles burn for one week, and um, then people request them for 30 days or a year, and then we simply light the number that they've requested. The stained glass windows are done um, out of Winona, Wisconsin, and they depict other apparitions of Our Lady or titles under which she is honored. And then you want to look at the Mother Good Counsel um, window. It's just beautiful, just beautiful.